Today we are going to talk about how to make fields non-editable from user interface in Dynamics 365 Business Center. Yes, you heard me right. Now we can make the fields non-editable from the user interface as a functional consultant itself. Prior to that, we have to ask a technical person if a field needs to be non-editable. Now, if I want to give access, let's say, to the item card to a particular user or to block access to the item card to a particular user, I can do it easily through permission sets. But let's say I want that the person should have access to the item card, but only the posting group field should be non-editable. Now, that is not manageable. We have security filters, but that doesn't work the same way. It filters the records, basically. So, whenever such requirement came from client, we have to go to a technical and ask that, okay, please make this field non-editable. Though it is a very simple task from the technical point of view as well, but it was much needed that as a functional consultant, if a person, if a user asks you that, okay, these fields should not be editable for me, then I should be able to do it by myself. And I'm very glad to say that now it is available. My name is Gulshan Shubham and let's get started. So now we have the lock editing option in personalization. So if you want to do any changes in the user interface, you go to the personalization option that is well known. But under personalization option, now you can see there is an option called lock editing and it will make these fields non-editable like you can see here in the case of general product posting. I made this non-editable only by using lock editing functionality. And this is available from 2023 release wave two planned. It means the public preview is from September 2023 and that's why I'm able to test it and the general availability will be from October 2023. Now, if you see in the previous versions, that is before 2023 release wave 2 plan, the first screenshot you can see, I don't have any option called lock editing. But now in 2023 release wave 2 plan, I have the option of lock editing. Now let's see this feature in Business Center itself. So here I have the item card open and I want that the general product posting group should be non-editable for me. So if I want to do it by myself, only for me, then I can do it from personalization. And let's say as an administrator, if I want to do it for a particular profile, then it's again very simple. I have to go to profiles. I can set the profile that I want. I can click on customize pages and I can do the same thing. Okay. Right now, keep things simple. I'll just do it for myself. I'll go and click on personalize and I go here, click on this red arrow and you can see lock editing feature. I click on this and it has become non-editable. It's very simple to do. Now let me click on done. And you can see that this field has become non-editable for me. And let's say I want to make it editable again. We go to personalize. We go to this field and I get the option of unlock editing. I click on this. And you can see this field is editable again for me. Let me click on done. Now, if I click on a field which is by default non-editable after going into personalize, let's say quantity on purchase order, then I have the option of unlock editing, but it is grayed out. It means this option is not available. So one thing to notice here is other than lock editing, I have a feature of unlock editing as well, and that is not only for the fields that I have just marked here as logged. If I have added a field, let's say there's a custom field that I have added it and I want to make it uh, and then by default it is non-editable and for a particular user I want to make it editable then again I can do it from the user interface. 
Now the question comes why I cannot do it for this field. And it is obvious as well that this should not be editable, but I'll tell you technically. If you see here in the VS Studio, when I create a field, I assign a property called editable. Now here, editable equal to false. Now, if the developer has explicitly defined a field as editable as false, then I cannot edit it even from the user interface using this new feature. Now, this feature is not limited to any card or document page. It is available on list and part list pages itself. For example, right now I'm on custom ledger entries and we know that the due date is by default editable on these ledger entries. Now, if I go here, If I go on the due date column and click on this red arrow, I can see the option of lock editing. Click here. And you can now see it is not editable for me. I'm clicking on it, but it's not working for me. These fields are editable, but these fields are not editable. Now, let me unlock it. Unlock editing. Click on done. And now you can see I can edit these fields. So this is a very small feature, but a much needed feature and it makes a life easier for functional consultants. So this is all about this feature and see you in the next video.